A while back, I made a video called How to Deal with Hounds. It was pretty much a tongue-in-cheek guide that wasn't really supposed to be taken seriously. I mean, one of the steps involved dying, so you get the idea. The response was pretty positive, and there were some really thoughtful and meaningful discussions in the comments. It seemed, however, that some people did take it seriously, much to my dismay. And since I don't want to mislead anybody, I thought I'd come up with a bona fide tutorial about how to survive hound attacks on this game. It involves a new turret you can craft called the Houndius Shootius, and yes, that is its real name. And I think it's easily the best solution to hound problems if you're new to the game and just starting out. Even if you're only dealing with one hound, this method should be what you turn to first. Especially if it's only one. Quite frankly, I can't even think of a viable alternative. I'm very pleased to introduce Bumbleborg's number one way to kill hounds with minimal effort, and no, Mom, I'm not just being snarky again, I really mean it this time. Patent pending. To start off, you'll want to kill deer clops. How you do it doesn't really matter. You can lure him into a swamp and get dozens of swamp beasts to beat him to death with their clammy flippers. What does matter is that you get his eye. So just scoop that sucker out of its socket and you're well on your way to making that houndiest shootiest. Step two requires you to do some spelunking. It's not enough to just go down one level, you'll need to descend a second level so that you enter the ancient ruins. Next, kill the Ancient Guardian. This honestly couldn't be any simpler. I don't think I really even need to get into how this is done. Again, this tutorial is mostly meant for beginners, but I think defeating the Ancient Guardian of some mystical ruins that have been secreted away for tens of thousands of years is pretty self-explanatory. Like with Deerclops, we're not killing him simply for fun, although it is a hoot. We're killing him to carve up his corpse, specifically for a rhino horn. The last thing you'll need is Thalusite, a gem that the Ancient Guardian might drop, or you can obtain by breaking statues in the ruins. These statues will be scattered around, so feel free to go for a leisurely stroll looking for them. Once you have all that, simply find an ancient pseudoscience station and get crafting. Remember to craft it once so you learn the recipe, but don't put it down yet. Placing it down in the ruins isn't going to help you one bit with hound attacks. When you're back on the surface, your houndiest shootiest will be good to go once you hear the barking of the hounds. So just plop it down, sit back, and relax. I guess it's also technically alive since it can die and everything, so if it gets hurt, you can heal it up with some healing salve. And there you go. Pretty basic stuff. Stay tuned for the next part of my hound killing series for more advanced players, in which I unveil my new 700 step program about dealing with hounds expertly and efficiently. And don't forget, the houndiest shootiest doesn't just attack dogs. If a pigman happens to wander into your tooth traps to steal some of your monster meat, you're basically obligated to teach him a lesson. He's not gonna learn that it's wrong otherwise. It's up to you to stand up for yourself, and sometimes that requires you to wipe out a whole legion of pigs. Anyway, hope this helps.